So I saw this Reddit post on r slash phoenixsc, and to demonstrate it, the first thing I need to do is find a squid. Luckily for me, I've spawned next to a river, and I just need to find a mob to kill. That'll do. I see a few right there. There we go. <laughs> Come back. <laughs> Come back. Alright, here. Take you out. And see? I now hold a squid in my inventory. Can't do much with it, you can't actually eat it, uh, calamari, but I'm holding the squid in my hand because that's what happens when you kill mobs in Minecraft, you get the mob. Now I need some glowstone to make it glow. Give a S glowstone dust. There we go. So we have a squid, we have some glowstone, and now we need to upgrade the squid because apparently this is an upgrade. Glow squid. <laughs> oh my god. This is how you do it, Mayang. This is how you make glow squids. Let's grab that glow squid. I'm upgrading. <laughs> it's like I'm throwing it on an anvil and just smashing it with a hammer. Well, I've got my glow squid now. Finally, I just need to throw this squid back into the ocean uh, and see what happens with this glow squid. Does it actually glow? You can't tell. <laughs> you can't tell. Guys, the reality of it is, even if it glowed, you wouldn't be able to tell because it's in water, and water has this effect in Minecraft where it reduces light levels. Oh, it's gonna kill itself now, because that's what squids do. They kill themselves all the time. Look, if you really want to know, that's nighttime, and that's how much it could ever glow, even if it glowed. So, there you have it. Look, I don't want to start a conversation with this video because it's meant to be a stupid idea about throwing squids into an anvil or a smithing table, and combining it with glowstone to make it glow. It's a joke. Glow squids, basically. I mean, it look they look pretty. 